Um, so from a, a treatment standpoint of trying to get everything realigned, um, when you can get things realigned, what do you see with your CSF flow patterns? Uh, because, you know, again, for everyone just joining us, cerebral spinal fluid flow analysis is what Scott has really developed. And, and he has combined that with upper cervical chiropractic. So, and then tried to look at before and after. So what happens when things go back into alignment? So um, great point. Um, first of all, some good news from a data collection standpoint. Dr. Damanian sadly passed away a couple of years ago but spent many years going ahead and creating an understanding of what normal flow volume and velocity is in contrast to abnormal. So we do have a reference of what normal flow of velocity and volume is. So we have a, a, a reference point. And um, so what we see is that when the atlas misaligns, when you get that misalignment, the atlas when it malaligns will go up and around the occipital condyle. And as it does so, it's creating this downward pulling. So when we realign the atlas, what we will see, and so far, so far, we have not seen where the proper alignment had not allowed the cerebellar tonsils to migrate up enough to make more room for the spinal fluid to flow. 